really just to give you an introduction to it. We're not going to go into detail, so if you have any questions, when we get to that point with it. So step one is you have to do a public hearing to kick off the update. Um, before you even go into any procedures, process, development of the plan, there has to be a public hearing. Um, then step two, which is a large step, is to develop the plan with public involvement in all the elements. So you do, just like we have done, workshops with state stakeholders involved. Once you've developed the plan, step three is you do a public hearing, just like we have always done, to present the draft plan to the community and get any other inputs. The next step is after you have done that and you've revised, if necessary, the plan, then you submit it to the regional commission with a cover letter signed by the chairman or mayor uh, or all of them if it's a joint plan. And that one actually, there's no more transmittal resolution. This cover letter acts as the transmittal. So what we then do is with this cover letter, we accept the plan and then we send it on to DCA. And then DCA and us concurrently review the plan. We have 45 days, DCA has 30 days. Uh, when we get the plan, we send out the notification to all of the surrounding counties and agencies that we have the plan. So if anybody wants to look at it and give comments, um, they can do so. It rarely, very rarely ever happens, but that we're required to do that. And then after 35 days, DCA needs to give us their comments. And then within five days, we need to send a report um, to the local government. That includes our findings and especially DCA's comments and findings. Um, now this is something that is also, the next step is not quite the way DCA has presented it so far. Um, DCA has always presented it when they were developing these new rules that the new comp plans would not have to have approval of DCA um, in order to be uh, adopted by the local government serve as their um, qualified local government recertification. That's a little trickier now. DCA is not reviewing the content per se, but DCA has put in the rules that the local governments must, and it says it actually in their shell, so you have to, can't get around it, revise the plan to address DCA's comments until they find that you are in compliance with their minimum standards. And that is very general. So it could include content, it could just include the procedures, it could include changing all the words in your short-term work program from promote, encourage, to develop. It could include putting numbers in there. The thing is, DCA has retained approval of your comp plan until they deem that it is in compliance with the minimum planning standards. So the comp plan still need approval from DCA before they can qualify as a recertification. Once they do that, however, then the governments can adopt the plan. Still has to be done with an adoption resolution just like before, but it doesn't have to be any more 60 days from when you submitted it to us um, for 60 days after it has been approved. Now it's 60 days after submittal. So pretty much within a month after you get approval from the CA, you can adopt the plan. Um, so that's, that's a little bit of a change. It gives you about another month to work with. If you don't adopt your plan, within one year of approval, receiving approval from DCA, you have to start all over. So um, that means your comp plan is kind of not avoided at that point. So it's really in your best interest, once you get approval from DCA, adopt it. And then give us the adoption resolution so we can send it to DCA. Um, once we've done that, then you get your QLG extension and you're good for another five years with the exception, this is also a new one, 
now you have to advertise that in the newspaper as a last step that you have an adopted complaint. So you didn't have to do that before, but um, now we have to do that.